hey, this is Dr. Story. I'm going to tell you why this Sela SMP Dynamic is now my soulmate. I eventually started using the Specialized Roman, and I love that saddle. That's an excellent saddle. It had a cutout. It also uh, had a nice curve to it. It's very similar to the Physique Aliante, but for whatever reason, I decided to try this, and I love it, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you how to decide whether you love it or not. This saddle, the Sella SMP, is very different, for example, from a Celia Italia uh, Team Edition SLR. This one is straight across. Now, what this one is really for, I used it for cyclocross. And what I used it for was so that I could make sure that I could move forward and back on the saddle. Uh, just so you know, I'm about approximately 150 pounds. Uh, I'm 5'10". My sit bone width is about 110. So this saddle is 130 millimeters across, extremely light. It matched my bike. I really liked it. Uh, but I liked it for cyclocross. I didn't like it for anything longer. On my road bike, I used a Specialized Roman Evo, which I really liked. Um, and it started getting really old, so I changed it. I wanted just to always try the Sella SMP. Now in a saddle, what I like is I like to sit in the saddle. I like to feel like uh, the saddle is shaped like this and I'm just sitting inside of it. Some people don't like that and if you don't like that feel, then definitely don't buy this because this is an extreme version of that. Uh, if some people like a flat saddle so they can move around, then simply don't buy this saddle. Now why did I choose the Dynamic as opposed to any other? Quite frankly, it's because of Steve Hogg on his website. He just said that uh, of all the different saddles that fit different people, the Dynamic fits the most amount of people in the most variety, uh, and he sells that the most. So I decided to try it. I did a two-week test. I thought to myself, wow, I really like this saddle. And I decided why try anything else. So that's how I came across the Dynamic. The trick to figuring out how this saddle works is where you want to sit in it. And if this is you, what you'll find is you don't sit on the back of the saddle, you don't sit on the front. It just kind of, you, you find that it just falls wherever you want to sit. And that's exactly what this feels like. So if this is you, this is how you sit on the saddle. Now what I did to make sure I figured out what level, uh, how level this is, because this is not, this is a very curved saddle. So depending on where you are, um, you could be either thrown forward or they could be pushed up too much. So what I did to find out what the, what the best angle was, uh, what I did is I took a piece of board that was hard and I put it across the top, made it perfectly level. I have a digital level so I knew exactly that it was perfectly level. I had made sure the bike was level to the ground. And what I did is I did not like it when it was level. So then what I did is I changed it at a half a degree until I actually got it down to about two and a half degrees. And that was that perfect, perfect sitting in the saddle where I wasn't thrown forward, I wasn't thrown back. And what ended up happening was it just felt like I was just sitting on something. It feels like you're riding a horse. When you're riding a horse, you don't, you're not sliding forward. You're not supporting the weight with your arms. You're not sliding backwards. It just feels right. So that's how I figured it out. Now some people can go nose down more. Some people will be nose up more. And that's what I did is to experiment with the angle of the saddle. Now, Sella SMP on their website says that compared to most saddles, that you're probably gonna want this saddle moved five, 10, 15 degrees uh, four or more forward. Uh, I actually found personally, and this is just for me, I actually found compared to the other saddles that I had it pushed back about 10 millimeters. So you have to play with the, with the uh, fore aft and you have to play with the angle. But to me, if you like a curved saddle, this Sella SMP, so far at least for me, is my soulmate. So a couple other things that I forgot to mention was that the difference between the Sella SMP, at least the dynamic, and the Specialized Roman is simply just the depth of the uh, concavity, so the cup that you sit in. So I noticed that the Sella SMP, it's, it feels like you're sitting more into the saddle than the uh, Specialized Roman, and that's one thing that I noticed. Also, there's a lot of people that say that it's a one position saddle, and 
in my opinion, I think that's kind of true, that I like to sit in it and that's kind of where I am. When I go into the drops, I kind of pivot my hips and kind of stay there, but you can move forward, at least at the angle uh, that I have it. I notice I have some friends that have the saddle too, and they have it much more, uh, the angle is much deeper. So the front of the saddle is flat and the back is lipped up. So they can move forward a little bit more when they're in the drops. I just don't happen to like to do that. That's just kind of my style. But if you like that, there is a way to make the, the SMP kind of you know flat in the front third and a lip in the back, similar to the way that the Roman is designed to be positioned. If you found this review helpful, give me a thumbs up. I have other cycling uh, videos on my YouTube channel. I'm a chiropractor, so if you have any health-related questions, you can simply ask me in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and let's all be safe out there.